welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. So today I'm down in South Carolina and you can see what's behind me. I'm at Just Aircraft. So a couple of videos uploads ago, uh, I did a, a video series on Bush and stole airplanes and many, many of you requested that I check out Just Aircraft. And so I gave them a call and today we're here. The model you see behind me is the Stoll Excel model, okay? And uh, I'm gonna review that for you today. And also, we're gonna go on a short flight. I've never really been in a bush or Stoll airplane before, so this should be fun. But we're gonna check out some stats on this airplane and hopefully we'll also get to see uh, some of how it's built. Because this is a kit and or experimental airplane and so I'm here to review it for you guys. Stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy the video. So here we are guys. Um, again, this is at Just Aircraft and this is one of their, their staple models. As you can see, one also is right behind it. That is the standard Stoll and this is the Stoll Excel. What sets this model apart mainly is the, the length of the body frame uh, because this also uses a bigger engine. So in this particular uh, airplane is a Titan 180 horsepower engine. And I'm just gonna go around it for you. Okay, and talk to you about it a little bit. And this is a true stole airplane, no kidding. This, <laughs> this thing would take off. See, we're literally, this is like a backyard and this thing can take off in that much space. And you see whenever we go flying in a little bit. All right, so taking you around. First, you see the the giant wheels there, and also you can see the struts. So this airplane is not out here playing. Now, the the main body frame of this aircraft and all of the other models at Just Aircraft is metal, and then you have this uh, nylon material. If I tap on it. So you have this nylon material covering uh, the metal frame. And so, but while I'm here, let me talk about the wings a little bit. You can see just how wide the wings are. And you'll find this on, you know, slow flying airplanes. And STOL stands for short takeoff and landing, guys. So if you're not familiar with that phrase. And one thing you notice, look at the flaps. Look how... See how wide those flaps are? <laughs> those are some giant flaps. Okay, and that allows this aircraft to fly really slow, to be able to slow down and also be stable. It is a tail wheel, okay? It's a tail wheel dragger. This is, again, very common with uh, stole airplanes. And as you see back here, we've got the elevator rudder stabilized all the whole empennage. But I also love the, the paint and color scheme. Uh, this is in silver, looks silver or gray and blue and then some uh, some dark highlights there. So this is really neat, okay? Now again, when you, when you think of stole airplanes, just think of airplanes that you can fly right out of your backyard. And that's what this is. All right, I'm gonna, let's go on the panel. Let's check out the, the interior a little bit. I'll check it out from the other side too. So if you look in this, look at the panel here. This is the most minimalistic panel that I've ever seen. Okay, you've got maybe four switches in here. See, literally, that's all you got. You got those and then you've got maybe two circle breakers. As you see in the middle there, you just have a throttle and a mixture. So being that there's no prop lever, this is a fixed pitch prop. You've got your rudder pedals there and you've got your stick for controls, okay? And if you look in the back, room for days. Now, again, this is an experimental airplane, so, you know, your your stats may differ, but from what I've been told, uh, useful load on this thing can go, because this airplane can be registered as a light sport or experimental. So if you were to register it as a light sport or build it as a light sport, obviously your gross weight, all of that will be limited. But if you go as an experimental, it means you have more to work with. And so as built right now, 
this airplane has a useful load of 600 to 700 pounds, which is way, you know, plenty to sit two people and go for a flight and even put some load back there. So here we get a better angle of the interior. I like the seats, the cloth seats, and you see there, just aircraft. Really neat. I really do like this panel. Now, one thing you would see or you don't see right here are your flight instruments. So you've got just some navigation stuff here. Uh, and this is your, you know, shows your engine information. Uh, so I did speak to Troy, who was the designer of uh, these airplanes. And he said also through this panel, you can get some information about your speed and all of that. But he doesn't <laughs> look at that. There's no flight instrument whatsoever on this thing uh, but again the the panel is very simple very simple you don't have you know lots of buttons or switches to worry about and back there you can probably throw some stuff back back there hell you can put a whole person back there but again you've got the useful load if you need to carry uh more people or more load but then again, when you think of the mission of this type of aircraft, it's not something you typically use for like crazy cross country. It's just a type of airplane that you have the capabilities of flying out of small fields and landing in small fields or go out and grab a burger, you know, have some fun. Now, what really sets this uh, Stoll Excel separate from everything else you've probably seen around is this here. Okay, this is the first really I'm seeing this also in person. These are slats. And what these do is that they keep the airplane balanced in a slow speed situation. Okay, first you already have the giant wing, okay? And then you have the giant flaps, and then these allow for more stability. So whenever the airplane slows down, these will pop out like that, okay? And what happens is the air flows over or under through the wing i can't get too technical because i'm just getting educated about it as well but the the whole uh the whole gist of the story is that these really help keep the airplane stable in slow flights and i've been told that this airplane have been flown at speeds as slow as 21 22 miles per hour that's just insane okay but uh, again, later on, I'm going to get more information for you guys uh, in terms of the kit, the pricing on this, and also being that it, it is an experimental, uh, the pricing would differ based on what you decide to build, but we'll get more of that information and you can check the description because I'll leave uh, some details on that as well. But here you have it, guys. This is the Just Aircraft Stoll Excel airplane. Let me know what you guys think. If you're already familiar with this aircraft, let me know in the comments. Okay, again, my name is Mike. Thanks so much for joining on this video. Until next time, I'll check with you later.